This video will discuss the trigeminal nerve. We will only discuss the branches of V2 and V3 that deal with the intraoral tissues as well as the teeth within a given quadrant. Using maxillary and mandibular models, we'll discuss the innervation associated with the teeth and oral tissues. Let's first take a look at the gingival tissues associated with the hard palate. In the anterior portion of the hard palate, we have the incisive foramen. In the posterior portion of the palate, we have two greater palatine foramen, one on the right and one on the left. Let's first talk about the maxillary division, or V2, of the trigeminal nerve. The greater palatine nerve exits the greater palatine foramen. The greater palatine nerve will provide sensory from the posterior hard palate, specifically tissue only. Innervation from the teeth does not come from this nerve. The nasopalatine nerve exits from the incisive foramen. The nasopalatine nerve will provide sensory from the anterior portion of the hard palate. This nerve provides innervation from the tissue only. It does not provide innervation from the teeth associated with this area. Let's now take a look at the innervation associated with the maxillary teeth and associated buccal tissues. The maxillary division, or V2, will run from a posterior to anterior direction. We will discuss the branches that are associated with V2 as it runs from a posterior to anterior direction. The posterior superior alveolar nerve, or the PSA, Supply sensory from the maxillary third molar, the maxillary second molar, the distal buccal and palatal roots of the maxillary first molars. It will also provide sensory innervation from the buccal tissues associated with those teeth. The middle superior alveolar nerve, or MSA, provides sensory innervation from the mesobuccal root of the maxillary first molar and both maxillary premolars. It will also provide sensory innervation from the buccal tissues associated with these teeth. The anterior superior alveolar nerve, or ASA, provides sensory innervation from the maxillary canine, the maxillary lateral incisor, and the maxillary central incisor. It will also provide sensory innervation from the facial tissues associated with these teeth. Let's now talk about the innervation associated with the mandibular division, or V3, of the trigeminal nerve. The first nerve we will draw with V3 is the inferior alveolar nerve. The inferior alveolar nerve will provide sensory innervation from all the teeth within that mandibular quadrant. The long buccal nerve is a separate nerve of V3 and will provide sensory innervation from the buccal gingiva of the mandibular molars and cheek. The mental nerve branches off the inferior alveolar nerve and exits the mental foramen. The mental nerve provides sensory from the buccal gingiva of the mandibular premolars and anteriors, the chin, and the lower lip. The lingual nerve will provide sensory from the anterior two-thirds of the tongue, the lingual gingiva, and the floor of the mouth. There are three additional branches of the mandibular division we did not discuss. The motor branch to the muscles of mastication will provide motor innervation to the four muscles of mastication. The ricoral temporal nerve will provide sensory innervation from the TMJ area, the external ear, the parotid region, and the temple region. The mylohyoid nerve provides motor innervation from the mylohyoid muscle and the anterior belly of the digastric.